Hi, everybody. Harrison with you. As global warmings launch new environmental concerns, fluoride in tap water once again rears its ugly head. So why all the controversy if it's good for the teeth? Turns out the stuff in common tap water happens to be a sister compound to sodium fluoroacetate, a common form of rat poison. According to studies by the Case Institute, the byproduct of phosphate mining in which they make fertilizer and laundry detergent is liquid fluoride. So toxic it costs seven grand a barrel to bury. Now in bed with the government, companies can avoid expensive burial costs by diluting fluoride in city water supplies. Saying that fluoride has huge dental benefits. Well, indeed, minute doses directly applied to a tooth may help that bothersome cavity. But in reality, tap water goes directly down the throat and through the body's major organs. Liver and kidneys then receive, ready for this? Lead, cadmium, phosphorus, selenium, mercury, silver, chromium, arsenic, and uranium-238. Radioactive, by the way. One unfortunate side effect of fluoride in the bloodstream is that within 50 to 90 minutes, human skin begins to absorb toxins from the air, along with some household cleaning compounds when touched. Ironically, in the shower, skin probably absorbs more fluoride than drinking tap water alone. Is the fluoride problem a new phenomenon? No. By World War II, farms, cattle, plants, and fish were dying from the toxic byproduct of common aluminum production, sodium fluoride. But here in Los Angeles, the city of Santa Monica has already taken fluoride out of their drinking water. And city after city in the Northeast are following suit. Canadian research now shows fluoride can cause cancer when consumed in tap water over the course of years. So how does big business get away with dumping this toxic glunk into our city water? Turns out the federal government subsidizes it by giving block grants of up to 100 grand for cities to start adding fluoride to their tap water. An EPA source told me the chemical company's joke, the solution to pollution is dilution. Better to poison a lot of people a little than a few people a lot. Then it'd be really obvious. Looks like Brita filters and plenty of bottled water, at least for me. And I don't mean to be a bummer here, but I care about you, and we can't rely on newspapers and entertainment reporters to dole out the goods. You do have a choice if you want this stuff in your water. You can call your mayor. After all, we all have a right to be safe and healthy and to choose what we put into our precious bodies. This is Harrison, and this is Harrison on the Edge for the QTN World News. Visit or email me on the web at goharrison.com.